welcome students welcome to the mathematics class today is our fifth lecture in which we'll continue with our previous chapter which was lines and shapes you remember in our previous lecture lecture number 4 we started this chapter and we learned about perpendicular lines and parallel lines Okay, so in this chapter we'll begin with uh, sorry in this lecture we'll begin with section C. Okay, we were done with section A and B in the previous lecture. Please open page number fifty-five of your book. Open page number fifty-five in which you'll find section C. Okay, so basically in this section we'll learn what is a net of a three D shape. So I hope everybody knows what a 3D shape is. A 3D shape is a shape which has many faces. For example, the front face, like you can see, this cube. This cube is a 3D shape. It has a front face, a back face, it has two side faces, top face and bottom face. So a 3D shape, any 3D shape would have many faces. Uh, similarly, 3D shape would have edges as well. what are edges edges are basically lines uh, that are formed when two faces are meeting at meeting okay with any two faces would meet at a line which uh, which is actually called an edge okay so this is an edge this is an edge this is an edge 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 so cube has many edges many edges any 3d shape would have several faces several edges and um, Several vertices. Now, what are vertices? Vertices are the points where the edges are meeting. So, this edge and this edge is meeting at this point. This is a vertex. Points, vertex, vertex, vertex. So, it has so many vertices as well. So, any 3D shape would have several faces, edges, and vertices. This is something that you must have learned in your previous classes. So you can see this 3D shape, which is a cube. This is basically a 3D shape. Now, what is a net? A net of a 3D shape is formed when the shape is unfolded such that its 2D structure is revealed. That means, for example, you can see this is a cube. If I just open up this cube, okay? If I just open it up, what would you see? You would see its net. Now, basically, this. This cube is formed when you actually join so many squares together, right? When you join six squares together, you can count the number of squares here: one, two, three, four, five, and six. So when you join six squares together, you form a cube. But if I just open up this 3D shape, if I just open up this cube, what would I get? I would get a net. Now, in this net, I would get six squares, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. If I again fold this net again, I'll form a cube. I open up this cube, I get a net, net of the cube, and then when I fold this net again, when I fold it, this net again. For example, this is the base, and I just lift this part up, and I lift this part up. That would make the sides. I would lift this part up and this part up again. This would make uh, make the sides, and then this would become the top. Right? This is the base. This is the top these are the two sides right and left these are the two sides the other sides right and left okay so the net if i fold the net again i would get the 3d shape and if i open up this 3d shape i would get the net of the cube so net of 3d shape is formed when the shape is unfolded that means you unfold it such that its 2d structure is revealed its 2d structure is revealed you can see square 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 this is basically a 2d structure that means you can see the 2d form of this cube but if i fold it again i would get a 3d shape which has many faces and vertices and edges this net can be folded again to form the 3d shape okay so similarly look at this if I, this becomes the base then these are the two sides this is the top and these are the two sides So you can fold all these nets and you will get the 3D cube again. Now, what is a closed cube? A closed cube that means that it's completely closed. Its 
not open it does not have any face that is missing all the faces are there so closed cube uh, just like for example if you can imagine a marble if, if you have ever seen a marble a marble is in the shape of a cube and you can see that all the faces are closed that means the cube is not open at an, at any place so that is a closed cube and a closed cube has seven lengths in which there are six squares as cube has six faces cube has six faces the top face bottom one front back and the side faces and all these together these, there are six square six faces that means there are six squares so obviously the net each of the net would have six squares now look at this this is an open cube you can see the example i have shown you here for example this is basically a, a kind of box okay this is a box in the shape of a cube but one face is missing the front face is missing so now this is an open cube this is not a closed cube this is an open cube an open cube's net has five squares obviously it would have five squares because one face is missing as the cube only has five faces so you see if for example i make up this is the base and these are the two sides then this would be the top and this would be only one side one of the square is missing that one of the face is missing because this is an open cube so check out all these nets if you fold these nets again you will get the open cube again okay so net, when you unfold it you will get the nets and when you, you fold the nets together when you fold the nets back you will get the 3d shape which is the open cube so um let's just revise the concept of pyramids and prisms now i hope this is something that you must have learned in your previous class what are pyramids and what are prisms a pyramid can have any shape with straight sides at the bottom now basically what is a pyramid a pyramid is basically something like this you can see there are three pyramids here a pyramid is always a shape which has a, which has a base which has a bottom which can be any shape the base of a pyramid that is the bottom face can be of any shape it can be a square you can see this is a square with four sides what do you think so this is a square the base here is a triangle and the base here what is the base one two three it has six sides that means it's a hexagon a shape with uh, four sides can be a square or can be a rectangle a shape with three sides is a triangle and a shape with five sides is a pentagon and this is a shape the base has six sides that means it's a hexagon okay So a pyramid is a shape which can have any base. It can be square, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, pentagon, octagon with eight sides. It can be any shape in on the base. Any shape with straight sides. But the top face, the top faces are always triangles. You can see the top face here. It's a triangle, triangle. The back is a triangle. The side is a triangle. Here, triangle, triangle, and the back is also a triangle. All the top faces are triangles. basically what a pyramid a pyramid top faces are always triangles but the bottom face can be any shape with straight sides it can be a square it can be a triangle it can be a hexagon pentagon octagon any shape heptagon uh, pentagon with five sides uh, hexagon with six sides heptagon with seven sides and uh, octagon with eight sides okay so whenever the pyramid has a square shape uh, at the bottom that is the base is a square shape so it's a square based pyramid if the base is triangular shape so triangular based pyramid and if the base is hexagon hexagon in shape so hexagonal based pyramid if it would have been octagon so you would have written of octagonal based pyramid if it was a pentagon so pent pentagonal based pyramid like this okay because you know the bases might be different but the top would always be same they would always be triangles it can be one it can be three triangles four triangles five triangles but always the top faces are triangles and these triangles are meeting at a point they always join together at the top point which is called the vertex okay so a pyramid can have any shape with straight sides at the bottom it can be square rectangle hexagon pentagon triangle anything the top faces are always triangles Okay, the triangles meet at a point. Uh, the triangles meet together at the point called vertex. This point is called the vertex. Okay. Now, what is a prism? What is a prism? A prism is a little bit different from pyramid. In fact, it's completely different. A prism is basically um, it does not have a base, but it it 
it has a base but the top the top face and the bottom face both are same that means uh, the top face and the bottom face they both are same now you can make the top face as the base or you can see the base is anything that is at the bottom so if i just uh, rotate if that if i just put this prism upside down this would become the base if i just keep it like this this is the base if i just turn it upside down this would become the base similarly here in this prism this is the uh, i have actually put the prism i have actually laid it on the floor otherwise this is the base or the this can be the base so basically a prism has the top face and the bottom face which are always same this was not the, this was not the case with the pyramid a prism uh, sorry a pyramid only had a base right but a prism a prism has a bottom face and a top face which both are same okay both the uh, bottom face and the top faces are same so you can see the top, uh, the top face here is a rectangle so the bottom face would also be a rectangle these two faces are called end faces what are they called end faces one at the top and one at the bottom these two end end faces are always same okay the, the both the shapes are same and it can be any shape with straight sides it can be a rectangle it can be a triangle it can be a pentagon hexagon octagon any shape with straight sides got it so you can see in this prism you have uh, the two end faces are basically rectangles don't actually uh, don't mind whatever is in between whatever is between you can see the between thing is a rectangle but you really don't care about this you care about the end faces any shape which has two end faces and the two end faces are same that means it's a prism you just care about the end faces if there are two end faces and the two end faces are same with straight sides that means it's a prism okay you can see look at this So you can see here there are two end faces. I have actually put the prism on the floor. I have laid it down. If the prism is lying on the floor, that is why this face is not kept at the bottom because it's lying on the floor. But still, you can see the two end faces. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. Two, the two end faces are same, same. So this is a prism. Here you can see uh, you don't care about the center part. You just can't care about the end faces. Here you can see. Um, This is what hexagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six sides. So this is a hexagon, and the back face is also the hexagon. So the two end faces are same. That means it's a prism. Now, if the end face is a rectangle, so rectangular prism. If the end faces are triangles, so triangular prism. If the end faces are hexagons, so hexa hexagonal prism. If the end faces were pentagons, so you would have pentagonal prism. If the end faces were octagon, were octagon so octagonal prism like this okay so in pyramid you have to write base because they they you only talk about a base in the pyramid but in the prism you just write the name of the shape with the prism okay so just check out the difference all the faces of a pyramid and a prism are flat okay none of the faces are curved none of the faces are curved that means all the faces are flat they are straight they are flat Okay, not even a single face is curved. Nothing is curved in a pyramid and a prism. All the faces are flat. So just check it out. For example, you have look at this. What is this? Is this a prism or a pyramid? What is it? Just check out. There are two end faces. There are two end faces. This one and this one. Okay, there are two end faces and they both are same, right? This is a triangle and this is a triangle. And the two end faces are exactly same. That means it's a prism. You don't care about the center side; it should be flat. That's it. But the end faces are same. That means it's a prism. And what is the end face? In the shape of a triangle. So this is a triangular prism. Now, if I open up this prism to form its net, okay? Now I'm opening it up. I'm unfolding it so that I can form the net. So what are the shapes basically in this prism? Here we have a rectangle. So here you can see a uh, front side. You can see the front side is a rectangle. So this is the front side rectangle. The back side, the back side that is the rear side is a rectangle again. So you can see this is a rectangle. The bottom floor, which is the base, is also a rectangle. So you can see this is the bottom floor, which is a rectangle. Then what else? The right side is a triangle. This is the right side. 
and the left side is also a triangle which is the left side so when i am unfolding this uh, prism when i am unfolding this triangular prism i am opening up everything here no so there were two triangles so, uh, you can see here in the net and there were three rectangles that, as you can see here in the net so the point is that whatever 2d shapes are present in this triangular prism they can be seen in the net a net would always show you all the 2d shapes that are present in this 3d shape if there were two triangles the net would have two triangles if there were three rectangles the net would have three rectangles so none of the shapes would be missing in the net the net must have all the shapes that are present in the 3d shape got it for example you can see this is a triangular base pyramid because the base is a triangle and obviously this is a pyramid because all the top faces are triangles which are meeting at a point called vertex so in this triangular base pyramid uh, if i just open it up so first of all there are three triangles here the front triangle the this side triangle and this side triangle so there are three triangles as you can see in the net 1 2 and 3 and the base is also a triangle as you can see in the center okay so if i have unfolded it how many triangles in the net 1 2 or as you can count you just count the number of shapes in the 3d shape and you just count the number of shapes in the net they should be same okay okay look at this this is a square prism how is this a square prism you can see the two end faces they are in the shape of a square so i would call it a square prism if i open it up to form its net first of all just check out how many squares are there two squares So the net has two squares, right? And how many rectangles? One, two. Uh, this is one rectangle. The side one, one. Front one, two. The side one, three. And the bottom one, four. Four rectangles. So one, two, three, four. There are four rectangles here and two squares. So this becomes the net. Okay. Just check out the number of shapes and the types of shapes. There are two squares. That means two squares. There are four rectangles. That means four rectangles. if the net would have more than four rectangles or more than two squares or less or something like that that would not be the net of the square prism the net of any shape should have exactly the same number of shapes 2d shapes that are already present in the 3d shape look at this what is the name of this shape this is basically a pyramid the triangles are meeting at a vertex and what is the base this is a square right all the sides are same so this is a square base pyramid If I open it up, first of all, check out how many triangles are there. One, two, three, four. Four triangles. One, two, three, four. And what is the base? The base is a square. As you can see, this is a square. So the net of this 3D shape is this. Let's just revise. For example, your question is, what is the 3D shape formed by each net? Now you have been given. the three, the nets and you are asked tell me what is the 3d shape that will be formed by this net and this one and this one so how would you actually find it out you can see this net it has so many squares and it has two faces which are in the shape of what is the shape 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so how many sides six this is a hexagon now basically there are so many squares here and there are two hexagons the top and the bottom so what can you what is coming in your mind when you are looking at these two faces which are exactly same what is coming in your mind these are two end faces and whenever we are talking about end faces which are same that means we are talking about a prism exactly we are talking about a prism so what is the name of the prism what is the name of the end face it's a hexagon so hexagonal prism got it look at this now there are one two three squares and two triangles and uh, what can you see these two triangles are same right these two triangles are same and whenever there are two same same shapes what comes in your mind end faces which are always same right so these are two end faces that means it's a prism and what is the name of the prism what is the shape of the end face it's a triangle so it's a triangular prism okay 
look at this this seems like a star but it is basically a, the net of a shape so what is this shape you can see there are so many triangles here so literally when you will actually fold this net the triangles would raise up and they would meet at a point so what comes in your mind it's a pyramid right it's a pyramid and how, what would be the complete name of the pyramid you check out its base what is the base 1 2 3 4 5 it's a pentagon so pentagonal based pyramid okay it's time to solve the book exercise open page number 58 and 59 of your book and make sure you solve this exercise at your home whenever we are talking about nets make sure that when you unfold any infinity shape uh, you get you get a net and when you fold the net again you get the 3d shape okay a net won't be the net of a shape if you are folding it and you are not getting the 3d shape again that means that is not the net of that shape okay you just count the number of shapes which are already in the 3d shape you count the number of 2d shapes and you check it out verify it from its net if both are same that means that is the net of a shape and make sure that you can just imagine if you are folding the net you will get the 3d shape again So it's time to solve the book. Solve this book exercise. Solve it. Okay, that would really help in your practice. For any question, any query, make sure you watch the video again. Okay. And uh, further questions and queries will be solved in the classroom here. Okay, class. So we are done with our lecture. Meet you in the next lecture. Till then, Allah Hafiz.